Hey racers, John is with you here today, back for another Hot Wheels case unboxing. As you can see, we are here with the 2019 E case. As you can say, E E right there. Now, I did my research. I know, good for me before this. So, the Super Treasure Hunt is the Back to the Future time machine. And the regular Treasure Hunt is a Honda motorcycle. So, let's unbox these cars and... Get into it. All right, let's start it up. I will not be going over duplicates, as you guys know, like this Camaro SS. Police car, awesome police car, but it's a duplicate, so that's pretty cool. Let's get started. We got the TV series Batmobile in silver. That thing looks pretty cool. I was never a fan of the Batmobile, but I think I'll pick it up and erase it because it looks pretty cool. Next up, we've got a Back to the Future hover mode and some moto wings. Those are from last case. This is the main line. Super Treasure Hunt, it'll be kind of weird to see what the Super Treasure Hunt looks like because these are the tiny wheels and would they be rubber? I don't know. That is some very interesting questions that we should keep in the back of our minds. Anyway, next up, we've got a Ford Escort and this thing looks amazing. As you can see, it says Gumball on the top left corner and oh my gosh, I love the color on this thing. It comes through pretty well on camera. It's sort of like a white with a like hint of gold I don't know it just lo looks really good and then we got another Hot Wheels right on we got diaper dragger and it looks like you can add some Lego people onto the back of that look at that little stroller in the back uh, not my forte I'm not much for fantasy cars you guys know that but oh well I guess it's pretty cool next up we got some Cadillac ATS VRs from last race and then we have the street wiener that's pretty neat. A little hot dog there. Does the grill come up? I don't think so, but it's a spatula. So, hey, who can complain? All right. Next up, we've got the Hotwiler Fantasy Car. Looks pretty cool. And I think the mouth goes up and down once it goes down the track. So that is going to make a lot of noise. So that's pretty cool. We've got a Volkswagen SP2. This is a pretty cool color for this car. I like it. And, yeah, it's a nice little Volkswagen there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We got some more Honda City turbos and a recolor of the Dunasaur. You might, guys might have seen that in a, one of the earlier case unboxing. So that is pretty cool. Next up, we've got Eruption, I think. This thing, this thing's going to be a beast on the track. You got a metal base light plastic body this thing is going to be fast i would choose this if i were you guys in the next video then we got some more rising heat fantasy cars that we saw last time we got some duplicates from last time we got a chevy silverado and a ford maverick all duplicates from last time we got some more duplicates from last time some porsche 918 spiders with the blisters on the on the right way this time and then we have a dodge charger stock car which is pretty cool we got a bone shaker coming back in the main line scheme. We got a nice dark red on that. I really like the color, and it says three, so I really like that. Then we got some more Dotson 510s from the last case. Next up, we have a Hot Wheels Zoom In in lime green. I am personally not a fan with the lime green. I don't know why you would recolor this car, but hey, I mean, it's some people's forte, I guess. Ooh, we got some nice supercars here. We got the 2015 Mercedes AMG GT from Fast and Furious. This thing looks amazing. I believe this was Hobbs' car in Fast and Furious 8, Fate of the Furious, I think. Pretty nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Then we got a Porsche 917 LH in blue. I really like the blue and white scheme. As you guys know, those are my channel colors. So I like the color of this that car. Looks very nice. All right, final cars of the top row. We got a Speed Ver, Speed, Speed, whoa, I cannot speak. A Speed Blur 2018 Ford Mustang GT in orange. Never really see a Mustang in orange, especially with the purple and black stripes on it. I think it looks pretty cool. I love the Speed Blur category because you can see so many cool paints on all these cars. I really like it. Then you have a Volkswagen pickup. That was the main line from last case. Then we got a Land Rover Series 3 pickup in red. That's going to make some noise going down the track. But hey, another another big hot truck. Licensed model. I like it. All right, let's go down to the next layer. Let's see what we have here. 
with our first cards. We got some duplicates from last time. We got a Porsche Panamera in red and a Corvette C7 convertible. Pretty cool. Next up, we got some more duplicates. We got kit cart and we got the Indy 500 oval from last case. A lot of cards from last case. We got Bubble Matic and the Dodge Charger 500 in black. That's pretty nice. And then we have the Porsche 911. These are all duplicates from last case. I'll just set them aside. With the police scheme on it, we got two Porsche police cars. And I got to say, I am digging it. I love the Porsche paint scheme. Keep it coming, Hot Wheels. Looks very good. All right, next up, we got some more Mercedes from the last case. And we have a Ford Escort. I love the paint on that thing, by the way. Probably one of my favorite cars in this case. Next up, we got some more Doom Daddies. That, those are from the last case. Then we got a 32 Ford. I cannot read cursive that well, so I do not know what that says, but this thing looks amazing. I, I can't wait to open this thing and see how it does on the track. Part of the Rod Squad ch category, championship, whatever you want to call it. We got some more Muscle Bounds from the Speed Boy category. These were from last case, so I'm just going to go ahead and set them aside. And we have a custom 53 Cadillac. This is crazy. I've never seen a car like this. That looks insane. That's really cool. I like it. Pretty long though, so we'll see how it does on the track. Low riders typically don't do that well on the track just because, well, they're low. We got a Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. A lot of people have been going crazy for this car because, well, it's a retro JDM car that everyone seems to like. You got the dual sunroofs. This thing looks amazing. I can't wait to open it. That'll be pretty neat. And then we have Octane. Rocket League car, again, that's pretty cool. That's a duplicate from last case. We're getting down to the wire here. Next up, we have Fastmaster. I think this might be a new model. I'm not too sure, though, so don't take my word on it. But I do like the gold wheels on any red car, so that's pretty neat. Then we got some two, two duplicates from the last case. We got a Camaro and a Dunasaur. We got looks like we've got a lot more duplicates here. A high beam has shown up in pretty much every single case. I don't know if I got one last case, but hey, it's back. It's just like, hey, where's me? I want to be fast. But we got a 67 Jeepster Commando there. So that is pretty cool. That was a duplicate from the last race. Next up, we have a T-Rex Destroyer right there. That was a duplicate. And then we have the Tesla Roadster with the Starman. Shout out to Elon Musk. I really like the dark red paint on this thing. And it's another Tesla Roadster. So who can complain? This thing looks amazing. Very nice. And then we have our last three cards of the case, guys. And... They're all duplicates. We got Track Manga there. And then, wait, actually, I don't think this is a duplicate. We got Mountain Mauler in black. Uh, I don't remember if this fits on the track, but it might. But if it does, it's going to make a ruckus because look at the treads on those wheels. All right. Very nice. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the E-Case unboxing. Make sure to tune in next week at this time so you can choose your car to get a shout-out in the tournament with these cars and i'll have to see you guys then so take it easy i hope you enjoyed the unboxing and i'll see you guys next time take it easy peace